Hello, everyone. So relatively recently, we have done the Veterans Draft. And as a counterpoint to that, I am now going to be doing the Young Guns Draft. I wasn't really sure what age to put for this. I was going to do U23, but, you know, to make it kind of so that we can actually have a decent team, I think I'm going to do 24 and under is my target, which I think kind of makes sense. Maybe it should be 23 and under, but I'm going to do 24 and under. And like, if we ever wanted to do sort of like a prime time draft, then I would say that's like 25 to 29. Uh, but what do I know, right? I'm not a scout. So let us proceed here and randomize the team as we do. And boom, we get the St. Louis Blues, last year's Stanley Cup champions. So that's not bad. Hopefully that is a foretelling for what's going to happen today. And I need to do some of these. So owner mode, no fantasy draft. That's literally why I'm here. Head coach, edit lines, jabroni. Don't even think about it. Fog of war. Uh-uh. Yes, but turn it off for meetings. And I think we're good. Which pick are we going to get? Eight, please. I want a good pick here for this draft for sure. A goalie might be a tough. I'm trying to think like Carter Hart. I don't know what age he is anymore, but I think he would still fit into this category. But other than that, 19. Come on, man. All right. Well, let's start the draft and see what we have left to pick from at pick 19. Boom. We are... Wow, they already took Darlene. That's not a good sign for us. Well, I guess they're thinking about, you know, the the future here. So let's see what we have. Rantanen! There we go. Look at him. 90 overall, 23. And we also have Sebastian Aho. Oh, boy. I really want to take both of them, actually. This is tough. We get two picks pretty close together, but they're going to be gone. The other one's going to be gone for sure. Oh, you hate to see it. Braden Point, too. Okay, he's a centerman, so if Sebastian Ajo isn't there, we're just going to really hope that Braden Point is. So let's take Rantanen and sim to our next pick, which should be kind of close together because we are 19, but it's not going to be that close together. Come on, Pointer. Still be there. No, Pointer's gone. And so is... Oh, that's so rough. Nice. It looks like the next best player we can take is Zach Wierenski. 23. $5 million defenseman. Sure. Why not? Well, yeah, let's take him and then... I'll take a goalie next, maybe, depending on who's available. Ooh, we got Shesterkin, 24. Perfect. Good thing I did 24 and under. Otherwise, we'd have to go to Blackwood, who's 85. Also not bad. And Kadahat, 22. So he would definitely be in that category. But anyways, yeah. I'm going to take Shesterkin quick here. 86 overall. That will be our starting goaltender. Oh, man. We're really getting down there quick. Reinhardt is our next best player here. 24 years of age. 85 overall. Let's go ahead and pick him up. Vrana. 24 years of age, 3.3 million, and he is a certified stud. On top of that, we actually need a left winger, so he will be our first line left winger. All right, got our first line. We got our starting goalie. We only have one defenseman so far. It's a little concerning. Ooh, we got Sandheim there as well. So you know what? We're not actually super screwed on defenseman. We got Rasmus Anderson here, 83 overall, 4.5 million. So let's take him. Maybe we'll take Sandheim next just to get three defensemen there that are solid and then we'll maybe go back to forwards that's also me boldly assuming that sandheim is still going to be here so let's just hope that he did not get taken sandheim's still here all right there we go 24 years of age and another pickup for us alex tuck is 24 wow i thought he was older than that all right 24 years of age and he is 83 overall 4.7 million I, I i don't know if we can really do much about cap in this one we might be fine anyway but yeah it's gonna be very tricky when we really get down to it. But again, I have a feeling that a lot of the players we're going to take later are going to be on pretty much league minimum deals. So I think we're fine there. Jared McCann, 24, 82, and 2.9 million. Another centerman. Sure, why not? Brandon Carlo. It's only 23. All right, not bad. We also got Pedersen's brother here in Marcus. And I don't know. I don't know. All right, Carlo, let's do this. By the way, I was just kidding. I, it's not Pedersen's brother. But anyway... Yeah, let's go. Well, to be fair, he is the next best player we can take, so I guess I'll just do it at this point. And we are really, really, really getting down there. We're going to have 70 overalls on our second line at this rate, which is not good. I don't think we're going to have a good team, guys. Just going to throw that out there. Montembo is the best goalie we can take. So let's sign him up now before he's gone, and then we're super screwed on backups. And yeah, right now we pretty much just need forwards for the most part. We need one more defenseman, but that's whatever. 22 years of age and 79 overall. Jesse Pugliarvi, welcome to the team. 80 overall, Gaudet is a centerman and making 950k. There we go. That is a decent pickup. Bren Lemieux, if we somehow end up making the playoffs, I'm going to be flabbergasted. Sure, why not? Let's pick up Sam Bennett. 24 and 78 overall. 
I don't, I, this team is not going to do well, guys. Actually, watch now that I say that. I'm always so confident in my teams, they don't do well. This time, I'm going to, you know, I'm out here saying, nah, this team's going to suck and watch us just dominate. I mean, dominate's a strong word. I think maybe we will float by, if anything, and sneak into the playoffs, but Artem Zoop. Yeah, there we go. 79 overall. That'd be our final defenseman. And see, this is why I did 24. If I did 23, we would be super screwed right now. I wanted to give us some sort of fighting chance, you know? And Howard Luke, it looks like you are our best option here. 78 overall. Another right winger. But what can you do? Zach McEwen, 78 overall. Another right winger. Oh, well. 78... 0.8 million. Well, I guess I don't know why I said that. 800k. My brain's just going through a loop right now. Anyway, let's do it. Oh, apparently not. Let's not do it. Now let's do it. I already know I'm gonna have to modify the lines manually because the auto draft thing, once I do it, it's gonna be like, yo, you took all these young guys. What the heck? And then it's gonna start taking all these players because we're gonna have cap space and stuff. So I'm gonna have to definitely do some manual intervention. I mean, on the bright side, we're definitely getting some players that we wouldn't have gotten otherwise. So... Harkins. I've never even heard of this man, but you are on the team. 78 overall and making 700k. Boom. Moment of truth. The draft has been completed. Let's see. Did they take some players? No, actually. It doesn't look like they did take any of those guys, so we might actually be fine. I might not have to do any intervention. I actually totally forgot that we obtained Rantanen, Shesterkin, Wierenski... Reinhardt's 85, Ron is 84, I think. This team might not be as bad as I thought. Still don't think it'll be a playoff team, but it's not actually as atrocious as I originally expected. Moment of truth, let's edit these lines and have an actual look at who we have obtained. So best lines, just want to make sure. Obviously, there might be someone here that's 25, but we know that when we drafted them, they were 24 regardless, but it's actually... Looking all right so far. So, yeah, the ages look fine there. And here, just to double check. Uh, Zub, yeah, so that was one of the guys. He was 80 or 24 for sure. He was not 84. He would not be in that draft. But anyway, yeah, so it looks like we're good. Zub is the one exception there. But when I took him in the game, he was, you know, whatever. You guys get it. Wow, there is really, like, no chemistry to be found here. I guess Wierenski is going to be on the second pair because... Literally, that's the only way we can get a plus one. I don't even think a plus one's worth it, so I'm just gonna put him back. There we go. So it'll be all zeros. There's our chemistry there, and these two. So, uh, I don't know. If I had to make a prediction, I'm gonna say we get 40 wins flat. No, you know what? 39. I'm gonna say 39. And, obviously, Ranton, I'm gonna say, gets the most points with... 70. This team certainly does not look as strong as the veterans draft. That's for sure. We're actually not off to a horrible start here, but I don't, you know, I never know with the simulation engine. We could go on like a 20 game losing streak and see now that I said something, we're about to be 7-7-1, seven, seven and one, aren't we? Just, oh, oh, I mean still up to this point, we're doing better than I expected. So I'm totally down and I should really just shut up because as soon as I said anything, three game losing streak, Oh, never mind again. An 11-2 win over Columbus, what happened? Let's keep our current trading block as is tradition and enter the trade deadline just to see which players are here. I haven't seen a coach fired yet, which is interesting. Carey Price. Oh boy. All right, Spurgeon, Kreider, Hornquist, Mrazic, we got Getzlav, Hyman, Gord, Larson. All right, nothing too crazy. Well, I mean, other than Carey Price, but yeah. We actually are currently in a playoff spot, but it's really, you know... It all depends on how we can finish out the season here. Three games in a row. There it is. Four? Ooh, never mind. Even now, at this, somehow we were just in a wild card spot. So it's not... Oh, yeah. Just go. Keep losing. Just keep losing. Obviously, that's what we want to do. We don't want to win hockey games. Absolutely not. And we close out the season with a massive loss streak because, obviously, that's just the way it works. I was wrong with the points. Rantanen put up 84 points. Look at you go. We went 37, 38, and 7. Just an absolutely horrific post-trade deadline simulation. Kind of expected that, to be honest. We finished last in the Central. The President's Trophy goes to the Ottawa Senators with 110. Good job. If we have a look at the stats here. So, yeah, Reinhardt at 73, McCann 62. Look at this team go. How about our goalies? How did our tenders do? Boom. We had Shesterkin, 28, 26, and 7 with a 901, 315. Montembo, 9 and 14, 903, 325. Okay. Well, let's check out the entire league here real quick and see what happened. So, Ranta with 44 wins, and he was on the Ottawa Senators, obviously. 
Markstrom there, Grubauer is up there as well. All right, nice, good stuff. If we go to all skaters, let's see who led for points. The Art Ross goes to Patty Kane on the Montreal Canadiens. Shifley's up there, Barzell, Sega, and Stamkos. All right, there you go. Time to simulate the playoffs and see who takes home the cup. It's not going to be us. We are not even in the playoffs. The Colorado Avalanche win the Stanley Cup. There it is, Cleveland Monsters with the Calder. I guess just for anyone that's curious, here is the Ottawa Senators lineup. The President's Trophy winning team here. Okay, and then if we check out their goaltender, they had Ranta, as we saw. And Francouz, I don't know if that's even how it's pronounced, Francouz, something like that. Anyway, as the backup. And then the Stanley Cup was Colorado, so we can have a quick look at their roster. They had Rask and Nett, all right, and Murray as the backup. So they had decent goaltending pair there. And they had, okay, wow. I mean, their team is not the best. They got depth, but yeah, wow. All right, good for them. Let's check out the awards, and there you have it. Buffalo ended up making it to the finals there over Ottawa, and Patrick Kane with the Art Ross and the Hard. Hedman gets the Norris. Lady Bing to Kane. Lafreniere with the Calder. Dano with the Conn Smythe. Vesna to Kata Hat. William M. Jennings to Connor Hellebuck. Ethan Bear taking on the Bill Masterton. Jack Adams goes to Moran. Frank J. Selke to O'Reilly. Kane with the Lindsay. Malkin with the Richard. Here is the playoff tree in case anyone wanted to see it. So that was the Young Guns draft. Did not go nearly as well as the Vets draft, but I sort of expected that anyways. And yeah, that was it. So thank you for watching, guys. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you soon.